take drones to a much higher level by this summit in deliberating, discussing with each and every one of you and making things go forward. And another leader that I have to share along with my leader Chandrababu Naidu is the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. In fact, he has put India in such a strong position across the world. Today, India is no longer a follower of any other country. India is a leader and trendsetter and that is the change and the thought process, the mindset our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has brought to this country. And the way that he has transformed the whole country in the last 10 years, today people in different countries, leaders of different countries, they want to follow India. They want to see how India is progressing. They want to see how India is moving forward. They want to learn from us. And that is the leadership, that is the commitment, that is the dedication our Honorable Prime Minister is giving us. And he made a challenge to all the Indians. He made a commitment to all the Indians that the Indians have elected him for the third time as Prime Minister of India. So what is he going to do? When he is the third time Prime Minister of India, he is going to work three times harder. And what is the fifth largest economy in the world? He is going to make it the third largest economy in the world. What is $3 trillion economy today? He is going to make it $5 trillion economy today. So it is the thought process and the commitment of the Honorable Prime Minister which is an inspiration for all of us. And in fact, he has put a special concentration on drones. If you look at my civil aviation sector also, in the last 10 years, unimaginable growth. If I tell you the numbers today that we have achieved in civil aviation, you would be surprised at what the situation was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, India had just 74 airports. 74 airports in independence, so many things, so many activities, so many cities have come up. 74 airports have come. But in the last 10 years, under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, we have increased the number of airports in the country from 74 to a huge number of 157. Can you think of it? 157 airports in the country. And we are not stopping there. In the next 20 years, we want to build 200 more airports. That is the capacity of civil aviation in this country today. And we are moving forward in that direction. Along with the civil aviation, just like how we have improved the number of airports, how we have increased the number of airlines and aircrafts, how we have increased the number of passengers traveling on through air. There is a, another sector in civil aviation, which is the drone sector, which is EVTOL sector, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. These are the new technologies that are coming in. And whenever there is a new technology going around in the map, in the whole world, there are two people who want to pick it up immediately and bring it here. One is the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, and one is sitting right here with us, which is Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. Anything happening anywhere in the world, their whole idea is that I want to bring that technology to India, I want to get it to Andhra, I want to utilize it in such a way that the people of this country and this state are going to be benefited. With this thought process, we have achieved so much success. And some of the success that I want to share with you in terms of what the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Government of India is doing is that over the past few years, India has emerged as a global leader in drone technology driven by innovation, policy reforms and strong industry partnerships. Today we have 132 remote pilot training organizations empowering a new generation of drone operators and more than 17,600 remote pilot certificates have been issued till today. And 81 different kind of drone models have been type certified. You all have just heard from my secretary also that we have banned the total import of drones. And why did we do it? We want to encourage more startups to come in this drone sector. We want people of this country to manufacture drones. We don't want to import drones and let the benefit go to some other country or some other company. We want people of this country to manufacture the drones. We want the young minds, the bright minds of this country to develop new drones, new type of drones so that we can cater to the solutions which are indigenous to our country. So with that mindset we banned, we liberalized the rules a little bit, drone rules of 2021. We liberalized so that the operation of drones can increase, more R&D, more investment can come into the drone technology. And on top of that, we have launched the PLI scheme for the drone industry and we have catered up to 120 crores and almost 27 companies I think 
have been benefited by this and I want to tell you that on behalf of the government of India, we want to push more into this uh, uh, drone industry and assist you in more in manufacturing and also R&D. And that is where I see that there is a commitment from Andhra Pradesh also to move in that direction. So Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India and Government of Andhra Pradesh are both going to collaborate together strongly so that more R&D can happen and we are looking at a very good drone hub in Andhra Pradesh in the nearby future. And along with that we have the Digital Sky Platform which is a technological platform which is going to be used for registration of drones and almost 26,500 drones have been registered across the country. And our Honorable Prime Minister has said a country like India should need at least 1 lakh drones to be registered. So you see how much potential we have to the current requirement. We have around 27,000 right now. We have to reach up to 1 lakh drones. And our Honorable Prime Minister has been one of the strongest motivator to utilize drones also. And we have to take note of the program that he has started which is the Drone Didi program. Drone Didi program, he is empowering 30,000 women across the country. He is training them as drone pilots. He is telling them why don't you use these drones in agricultural sector. Why don't you cut down the cost that the agriculture sector is facing today. Increase in the investment. And this is just one other case of use case that I'm talking about. We have talked about drone uh, uh, usage in uh, disaster relief. We are talking about drones in agriculture. We are talking about drones in road management, construction management, medical facilities, transport of people. So th there are multiple number of use cases that are possible in this sector. And we all wanted to know from the industry itself on how to go forward. And the one great thing Andhra Pradesh is looking at right now is formulating the drone policy. And the best of it is that they are listening to you and then formulating it. I think no other state would have taken this kind of initiative where they are calling in thousands of people from the industry, talking to them, knowing the issues, knowing how the direction is to go forward and then collectively formulating the drone policy which is going to be the best in the country. So with that thought process, with that idea, we want to provide full support to the government of Andhra Pradesh in its way forward. I take the liberty of representing both the government of India and the government of Andhra Pradesh also coming from this state and me having the civil aviation ministry with myself, I want to ensure that Andhra Pradesh has the best of its, uh, to the best of its ability grows in the civil aviation sector and I imagine most of the people from the drone industry today are looking at the BVLOS, visible line of sight beyond visible line of sight. And I want to tell that there are exciting developments happening. We are confidently looking at how to facilitate to this BVLOS problem. In fact, the American people, the FAA, they are also still formulating the rules. We are observing how the more world is moving towards it. We are seeing how the world is formulating these policies regarding BVLOS. And I want to assure you that as the world moves in, India is going to be there in the forefront and it is going to make it happen in this country also. We are going to take the support of all the necessary departments, other uh, ministries also and ensure that this BVLOS issue which has been constantly tagged for expansive use of the drones, we are going to tackle it in the nearby future also. And also other things, other issues that you would mention, we are going to take a note of it. We are thoroughly following up on all the discussions that you would be doing here. We are going to note them down and even if it is Amaravati or even if it is in Delhi, we want to ensure you that both the governments are going to facilitate to you in the best of its uh, uh, possibilities and ensure that the drone hub that we want to create in the state of Andhra Pradesh is going to flourish in the nearby future, in the coming future and I wish each and every one of you a uh, warm, uh, uh, my greetings and a warm welcome once again to the summit. A great enthusiasm is being seen by all the people here. We thought if 1000 people can attend the event, we would have reached the target that we have set here. But I think the numbers that the uh, officials were sharing, we had requests up to 6000 and many more also. So you can see how the success of the event is in fact clear by now itself where there is a so much enthusiasm to participate in this event. And so we are a lot of learning to do from this event today and uh, once again I would like to thank the government of Andhra Pradesh 
for, for uh, putting up so grand efforts into making this a uh, very successful event and my sincere thanks to honorable chief minister uh, chandra babu naidu garu for driving this whole thing forward and personally monitoring each and everything of this under his guidance i feel whatever success we are targeting to achieve especially in the drone sector and this category we will do it in the future we will work under you sir under your guidance we will take your suggestions and coordinated with the government of andhra pradesh we are going to ensure that the andhra pradesh is not going to be the drone hub of the country but the drone hub of the entire world and i once again welcome each and every one of you thank you very much jai hind Absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much, sir. The only leader who proved that power given by the people is solely for serving them is our Honorable Chief Minister. On the lines of his vision 2047, Honorable Chief Minister aims to position the state of Andhra Pradesh as the drone capital of India. It gives us great pleasure to have our visionary leader amongst us. Now we have the inaugural address by our honorable chief minister Sri Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. Honorable Union Minister for Civil Aviation, Government of India, Young and Dynamic Leader, Mr. Ram Mohan Naidu, Honorable Minister of Roads and Buildings, Infrastructure and Investment, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Janardhan Reddy Garu, Secretary. Minister of Civil Aviation, Government of India, Sri V. U. Vallangaru, Chief Secretary, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Nirav Kumar Prasad Garu, Secretary, Investment and Infrastructure, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Suresh Kumar Garu, and. friends from industry drone industry is emerging first time i am seeing so many industry and manufacturers and also i am very happy youngsters from different universities have come here and also professors they are also here i am very happy this is the first of its kind i remember very well around 1995 mid 95 that is mid 90s i used to talk about information technology nobody used to understand at that time my language we are all traditional at that time around early 90s internet has come that is the contribution from bill gates and at the same time around 1995 i became chief minister i took advantage of information technology just like this we want to promote information technology we don't have any clue we had so many brainstorming sessions before that only bangalore because of some natural advantage they got some it companies then by discussing with all 
industry giants and technology experts everybody first project i tech city that also has come not by spending money from government it is a ppp model public private partnership model first of its kind in india at that time without spending money we created i tech city creating i tech city is a wonderful idea but what to do with that then i went to america for 15 days i met all corporate giants of technology experts experts and giants including microsoft